everyone needs to hear this message of reconciliation. They're not forgiven. I'm not just forgiven. I'm reconciled. Well, why did God reconcile me? Because he wants a relationship with me. I, I, if you've heard me talk about forgiveness in the past, you've heard me make this statement. I forgive you before you offend me. Recon, uh, forgiveness isn't even about you. You've hurt me, the, the, my enemy, the, the person who attacks me all the time, they hurt me. Okay, I don't care. I mean, I do care, it hurts, right? But I forgive because I'm not giving that person control over me. I'm not drinking the poison of unforgiveness because I can punish them somehow, right? Forgiveness is for me in my relationship with God. I am to forgive as God in Christ Jesus has forgiven me. Forgiveness is only about me and Jesus. It has nothing to do with you. When you say, I, okay, for instance, I don't let someone, I'm not waiting for someone to ask me forgiveness. Will you forgive them? They haven't asked forgiveness yet. What? It doesn't say that in the Bible someplace, but I, I don't wait for them. I forgive them even if they don't want me to forgive them. They don't know why they've done it. They don't know what they did to hurt me or they don't care what they did to hurt me. Who cares? I forgive them because forgiveness between me and God. Me forgiving doesn't matter what relationship. Okay, pause that. At the spiritual level, at the God level, God sent Jesus to forgive mankind. All the sin of all men hung on Jesus, and I read it right there, Jesus became sin. The one who was sinless became sin. Okay, God forgave us at a cross, past tense. All the sin of all mankind was forgiven at a cross. Okay, that's not reconciliation. That means God forgave us. He's not holding our sin. Well, he's not holding our sin against us as he's forgiven us. He's released us from that. Okay? Reconciliation is different. Reconciliation is God wants a relationship with us. That he didn't just forgive us, but he has reconciled us back to himself. He paid the price that had to be paid for us not just to be forgiven, but to have a relationship with him. That you are the son and the daughter of God. It, by the way, if you don't know Christ your savior, you're still his son or daughter. You just don't have a relationship with him. You're not saved, you don't get to go to heaven, but he still created you. You're still his. He's still drawing you to himself. It's still God who says, he's the one who reaches out and turns your mind and turns your heart back toward him. That, that's how God operates. And so when he's doing that, he's wanting you to receive reconciliation, not just receive forgiveness, but to be reconciled back to himself. He's not holding your sin against you, that's the message. He's entrusted to us this message of reconciliation. The message is, He's not just forgiving people of their sin. He's not holding their sin against them. He's already done the work of reconciliation. He paid the price that we can't even pay to be reconciled, to have a relationship with him. He doesn't want to just forgive you, but you need to stay away. Right? The person you never want to have contact with again because they are so whatever. Your role as a follower of Christ is to forgive them as God forgave you in Christ. That does not mean you won't be reconciled with them. But God wanted to be reconciled to me and to you. He needs to forgive us. But he wanted to reconcile us. 